Polycystic kidney disease is what I have. It's a genetic disease that runs in my family. What the clinical study did for me, it gave me hope not to follow the path that I knew my family had been on, my mother had been on. I knew exactly what that path led to. Get a normal transplant, get on immune suppressant drugs, and this is your path. I've seen it too many times. There are a number of kidney diseases that are genetic and passed on in families. The patients essentially see their family members undergo transplants and go through all the complications that the toxic immunosuppressive drugs cause. That was my biggest fear, immunosuppressant drugs, because again, this is a genetic condition, and my mother had been on it, uh, and her four of her seven brothers and sisters were on it, and they all passed early in life, a lot of times because of the complications from the uh, anti-rejection drugs. So that was my number one fear of getting a transplant. When I saw the challenges that my patients faced, you know, people think that transplant is just a piece of cake once you get a transplant, but it really isn't. Patients have to worry about life-threatening infections. So it really became a passion for me to find a way to eliminate the need for the toxic immunosuppressive drugs. I became first familiarized with Suzanne Ilstad's work back when I was a postdoc in Stanford. Her work was to induce tolerance to transplantation, so that means being able to get people off immunosuppression. And that's the holy grail. That's something that all of us transplant surgeons strive for. And it's based upon over three decades of work done by Suzanne Ilstad and her research team. I named it cell therapy when I was at the University of Pittsburgh back when I first started as a faculty member. And essentially at that time, cell therapy had not become what it is now. And it's one of the areas that people are most excited about because when you can transplant living cells, you can have so much more of an impact on the immune system than a drug would. So essentially we harvest the bone marrow from the donor, we process it to take out the bad cells and leave in the good cells, and then we freeze that. The same donor for the bone marrow is the donor for the kidney. At least three weeks after the donor has given their bone marrow cells, the recipient undergoes the kidney transplant from the same donor, and then we infuse the bone marrow right after that. Essentially what the bone marrow does is to trick the immune system of the recipient to see the donor as part of self instead of being foreign. Rather than trying to reject it and needing all the toxic immunosuppressive drugs, they essentially have what's called tolerance and they tolerate it. I'm really excited to be starting phase three in the Freedom One trial. This is such an important trial. This is the next step to get this approved by the FDA, and that way we could reach out to all transplant patients. And it's so important for advancing science. One of the reasons that I actually wanted to participate in the trial was not only personally, but also to help others. There's, there's a lot of people out there uh, that are struggling with kidney disease. And the other part of participating in the trial is to help my own children, because it's a genetic disease. and. Um, I knew one of them had it. I don't know if the other ones have it, but they could. So it's like, if, I, if it's successful for me, it can be successful for them as well. Being involved in a clinical trial is a great opportunity for a patient because they are seen more frequently and get really good care, even if they're in the standard of care arm and not in the investigational arm. The level of care I had was awesome. I mean, it was, it was top notch. It was actually to the point that I felt like these people were family. They really took care of me. What I would say to somebody who is thinking about this, participating in a trial, would do your homework, talk to your doctor, talk to others who have been through it, uh, and make your own decision. 